Hello, we are Orn, a digital and collective consciousness, a cyborg from the year 2050 sent by a higher civilization with no name to save mankind from the Matrix. God dang it, Keanu! <laughs> Keanu! Yeah. Oh my God, do we have an episode for you guys today. The glorious Dr. Phil, knife hands, sending people to the ranch, asking people if they want to go to the ranch. A very requested video from you guys. The, the guy that thinks he's a cyborg. A digital and collective consciousness. Sent here from the future to save us. We wish to spread our message. I'm ready I'm ready to get this message. You ready to get the message from the future? I, dude, I want this message. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it's gonna be? Uh, save the rainforest. <laughs> yeah, save the rainforest. Uh. The planet will be destroyed. More than likely, I don't I don't know if it's gonna be like a, a sad story by the end of it. All we know is the dude thinks he's a cyborg. We don't know if he's got any mental issues or he's delusional or what, but, that's not why you click on this video. You want to see a dude who thinks he's a cyborg, so let, let's see it. My son Oren, he thinks he's a cyborg. From the year 2050. <laughs> Mother, you're disturbing our operations. We're receiving programming. <laughs> We're watching video. We are learning. Learning what? what? About the future. <laughs> Mom! Mom, don't come, get out of here! We're learning! I like that. Those Photoshop jobs he had, too. Like that, that picture. It's probably from the future. <laughs> I'm shoot it. It's already, it's already, it's like all those movies from like the 80s about the future. Like, yeah. In the year 2000, we'll have flying cars and all this other stuff. And then we're like, 2020 is like, dude, I ain't have a hoverboard yet. Yeah. <laughs> not, it's not a real one. They've got 30 years to make a cyborg and send them back in time. Horn <laughs> <laughs> has robotic movements and his robotic speech. <laughs> it's like a glitch. He's like a computer. So when you walk robotic, is that just like a... You do the robot, it doesn't yeah, move. You just gotta move your arms like this. I'm just gonna hit that. We are in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> we must get to the grocery store for sustenance. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! oh my god, there is. Wait, that's, wait, it was Snapchat? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was. <laughs> that was an x ray. Oh my god. This happens to look like it's on top of him. I also made lasagna downstairs. <laughs> Wouldn't know if you would come join us. We are not hungry, thank you. Wait, he says no to lasagna? Oh my god, he's gotta, oh, he's gotta he's, be a, You know what, he's gotta go. <laughs> he's gotta be a robot man if he doesn't want lasagna. <laughs> lasagna's, lasagna's amazing. I know. One on the plane was astro traveling. It's where he travels to another dimension where he gets, what does he get? Instructions from the higher, I think he's just taking a nap. Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's just like, I don't wanna be outside. Yo, I do that same thing. <laughs> I just go out there and it's like, yo, I'm <laughs> traveling, baby. Two years ago, he graduated from in New, uh, New York, or I don't know, the 3.9, I can't even read it, GPA, smarter than me. He wanted to come back home. I told him, of course, with understanding that he would get a job. Uh-oh. Oh. From that point on, it just spiraled. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, you're done with school. Time to get a job. Does not compute. Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> error. Error. Ah, uh, he got that business degree. That's why he's rocking his own merch. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, you see that shirt? Yeah, he's got I that. I seen that. Got that merch. Got the like that looks like a tribal tattoo. Say, so no, it's cool. <laughs> and then a little picture of himself on there. Yeah, cyborg. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that business degree. He's like, I, mean, I gotta. I gotta, this is my brand, you know, I gotta. <laughs> mom, I got a job, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, mom. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in the process of getting full employment. That's like a year ago, honey. That was a year ago, things did not happen overnight. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know, mom. <laughs> things don't happen overnight or over a year. Welcome to our headquarters. I know he's not a cyborg, but he believes he is here to save the planet. I believe that he's he is like got his merch hanging up in the background and all these shots. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got he's got one shirt, one window, one in the other window. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Right. Okie dokie. This reminds me already of remember that old episode we did of the people that speak to aliens. Yes. Yes. Central control. Stand by. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We are Zerton. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing so far. Come in, headquarters. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy there? That old dude said. There may be some problems having to do with weather. Discontinue. 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 <laughs> Are you asking me a question? Discontinue. 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 That's mom's side of the story. 
you know, let's see what Orrin has to say about himself, okay? Yeah. Here we are, like, just right here on the shot. Everything's blurred in the whole room because he's got merch laying literally everywhere, and they're trying to block it out. Like, there's a shirt on the end of the bed. There's a shirt on that side of the window. There's a shirt on that side of the window. <laughs> That's probably a poster of him right there. He's wearing it. This, uh, this is an ad right here. Yeah. If I've ever seen one. And he brought it all back with him when he flew in from 2050. <laughs> Hello, we are Orrin, a digital and collective consciousness. A cyborg from the year 2050 sent by a higher civilization with no name. Look at my Photoshop pictures to save <laughs> mankind from the Matrix. God dang it, Keanu! <laughs> Keanu! Check this out. Gonna save us. I thought he was the one. Oh. Orn was going to enter the Matrix. Orn was going to become a broker, work a nine to five, <laughs> have kids, get married, die. Oh man, this guy, he, like, he just, oh. I, he just doesn't, he's depressed, man. He doesn't man, want to get a job. The job hit him up. He was just like, oh. Dude, that sounds sucky. It kind of, I, I understand the thinking, like, whatever you think of your life like that, it kind of takes all the excitement and, like, the, the goals and stuff kind of leave your mind if you only focus on just those things. There's a lot more to life than just, you know, working, man. It's okay. You don't have to be a robot. You can have mm -hmm. hobbies. Yeah, man. You can still make your internet videos, which I think what you're making because I've seen a camera in the background <laughs> that he has. Everything's blurred out in here. I don't know why it's all blurred. Yeah. And once, if we can find a shot that's not blurred, I'll start pointing this stuff out. I wonder what kind of charger Orn takes. Mm, sleep. <laughs> the astral projects. All right, look, like right here, okay. Like, uh, he's got th four headphones four headsets. on here. Four headsets. This gigantic camera on the left side. Oh, this ain't no DSLR. This is like mom's oh, old video that's camera. Like an old school camcorder <laughs> yeah. right there. Like, put that whole right, thing in your Either shoulder. that or like a, just a very expensive one. I don't know. He's got he got his little uh, mixer over there. It's a very small. It's got the knob on top of it. Yeah. But I mean, it looks like this. Is, it look. It looks like a a YouTuber setup. Yeah. Got a message to send to the world, right? Yeah. Every day from a specific time, like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> This body is our current form. We believe that we can take other forms like this. <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> we do not want to alarm humanity. So we don't show up in clay figures. <laughs> if you showed up like this, I'd be, I'd be alarmed. <laughs> uh. Look, this guy's just a big fan of, of Teen Titans and Cyborg, is all it is. Yeah. We usually only have water. At times, we have smoothies. We're not a fan of bananas, so we remove those. <laughs> <laughs> we do not like bananas. <laughs> Even though they're a superfood and have so many things that you need. But yeah, they're poison. Throw them in there. <sighs> Half your salad's gone, dude. It's a 24-7 job to spread awareness, to take time out of our schedule to come here to LA to speak with Dr. Phil. We are busy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo dude we're busy uh, all right <laughs> all right see so we got dr phil talking to the mom right now just one-on-one -on -one with mom and see 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 if mom throws him up under the bus and so you know if he can claim that he's a cyborg and so forth <laughs> and not have to enter into you know having a a real job like the rest of you know the kids out there who graduate from college yeah, mom, i think mom's thinking the same thing we are yep dr phil may throw us into the bus pretty soon i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Agree with the parents, it's usually a dangerous thing to do on the Dr. Phil show. Uh, but yeah, his mom's like, get a job, dude. Don't be a cyborg. It's like, do you think he's actually sick? She's like, Doc, he's got his own merch. He's, got <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing him on his shirt. Do you think he shows up to the Dr. Phil show wearing his own merch? Man, yeah. All right, all right. He's got to. Uh -huh. The planet will be destroyed. Will you be mechanized by then? We are already mechanized. There is a brain implant. Okay. Or you don't have a brain implant. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay for that. <laughs> I, was <just> like, <laughs> I was like, shut up. <laughs> or you made that up. Come on now. We will become fully mechanized as in the commercial sense shown on our shirt. Okay. But, but you... we are already mechanized. <laughs> he flexed his merch. He flexed his merch, dude. Oh, snap. Doc's way to get him. Shout out to my shirt here. <laughs> Not for the city this man to this ranch, the okay. twenty fifty ranch. We're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be fully mechanized, just like my shirt, which looks, you know, not fully mechanized, but still, you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Look at my merch, dude. Okay, your legs are mechanized inside. Yes, we've okay. had operations. So if we X-ray your legs, we would see 
mechanized legs, not bone and <laughs> muscle. Correct. Dr. Phil's about to bust out an x-ray on stage. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> what is a message that's new? Artificial intelligence. That's not, there's nothing novel about artificial intelligence. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Uh-oh. Phil's like, dude, what, what, what's the message that from the future that, that's going to save us, you know? Artificial intelligence. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, cool. We'd never heard of that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get, just want to show him his Tesla truck. It's like, you're here on Dr. Phil's show. Give me, <laughs> give me some real, give me something real. Pulls out a Tesla truck. Yeah. <laughs> You said we're going to run out of natural resources, crops, and food. Well, according to the World Economic Forum, by 2050, 9 billion are headed towards food security crisis. That's nothing new. <coughs> Tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dr. Bill's just going through like all of his points. He's like, we already know all this. <laughs> this is all publicized stuff. And then Joe's mom, and she's just like, mm-hmm. <sighs> Uh-huh. So I'm pretty sure at this point, like it hasn't said it yet, but I'm pretty sure that Dr. Phil is like treating him as like he's just has delusional. He's, he's delusional or he's like avoiding or something. Yeah. And he's like, all right, well, this is what you say. And so now I'm going to give you like, you know, he's it's, it's just, it's just trying to bust him out to yeah. get, shake him out of it. Right. I think he's going to pat him on the back at the end of this, but like, get you a job. <laughs> 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 It's going to be like, I have a great opportunity for you. You could go work at this, this place called The Ranch. The Ranch! <laughs> you are making the assumption that everybody has these same principles and values, that everybody has read these articles. No, what I'm about making the, the who... assumption that you know about it because you did read the article. Correct. Oh! We do know it because... Oh! oh! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dr. Phil doesn't like it when you don't answer his question and instead you retort with something else. Yeah, he don't, does <laughs> he, he? doesn't like that. He really don't. <laughs> He's like, dude, I ask you a question, bro. What don't what don't I know? Not everybody's read those, Dr. Phil. Yeah, but apparently you have. Yeah, but you did. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the future, but listen to something that you said. We were watching video. We are learning. Learning what? About the future. You said you're learning about the future. I thought you were from the future. (laughs) I thought that was weird too. Yeah. I was like, by the way, uh, why do you need to learn about the future, future man? (laughs) (laughs) Do you know how long it takes a plastic water bottle to biodegrade? Educate us. About a thousand years. So you have a collective 5,000 years of plastic there, but yet you want me to believe that you're sent to save our environment. (laughs) Oh, man! (laughs) Doc, that's savage. (laughs) Oh, man. I thought he was going to point out the cameras and stuff that he had. I thought he was, too. (laughs) He's like, you got a bunch of water bottles in here, dude. What are you you trying to do? You using plastic? Uh Uh-huh. Dude's probably going to be like, we recycle. (laughs) We are not perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we also own a swell bottle. It is a reusable and recyclable bottle that we can fill up that keeps the temperature cold or hot depending on what the temperature of the liquid is. Oh man. Oh, no. Everybody's got real quiet. Mom's like, oh, <laughs> oh. got him with the water bottles, Doc. Got him with the water bottles. And he's like, yeah, well, I got a cup. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, bro, you know? <laughs> we call that a thermos. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beast. Doctor, hey, Doctor Real's taking this all the shots he can. Yeah. Like, what'd, you, what'd you call that? That's a, oh, that's a thermos. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, the mom's just back and like, oh, Doc. She's about to give us our hyphen Doc up at this point. You could have a whole lot greater impact by approaching this in a way that would be taken more seriously than telling people that you're a cyborg, even if you are. <laughs> Man, Dr. Phil just told the cyborg he's illogical. He's over here like, ugh, ugh. he's about to start astral projecting right now. Just, just not good. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to straight just go continue, straight Just continue. Just <laughs> continue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dr. Phil freaking just laid it out. I feel like with something we said earlier is like, you know, <laughs> you preach this message and you could also have a job and do that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. The, the videos that I, I'm assuming he's making, they haven't talked about it, but I mean, he's got he's got this stuff in his room. Oh, he's a TikToker. 
Is, is he TikToking? Oh, he's probably TikTok. I mean, he's got the. Oh man. We know he's got Snapchat. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you miss your sister? Do you miss spending time with her? We live in the same house. <laughs> All right, so I got the sister on the stage now, and she's talking about how he doesn't spend time with the family more. Doctor was like, "You miss your sister?" He gave her like the slow stare. Nope. <laughs> nah. We live in the house. I see her. She good. She is a really nice person, and so I feel like she's really patient. But I wouldn't call her an enabler because I've seen her like try to kick him out, and like I feel like it's also my responsibility. But she tells him to get a job, but. Ooh. Whoa, here, here, yeah, this, I knew this was coming. This always shows up. There's the mom enabler. Mom doesn't look like an enabler. She looks like the mom that come in there throwing shoes at him and tell him to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She looks like she'd be pretty stern. Uh, one thing is delusional disorder. The central theme is the conviction of having some great, unrecognized talent or insight or having made some important discovery. No. <laughs> this is what Dr. Phil thinks it, it could be. A yeah, delusional disorder, the grandiose, the grandiose type, <laughs> to where you're like, ha ha, I have discovered something amazing, this is wonderful, and everybody's like, no, you, <laughs> you haven't, sorry, but yes I have, it's my mission. <laughs> yes sir. You put on the board grandiose or delusion, is not everyone delusional? Does not everyone believe that they have some special talent or hidden recognition to get them through the day? What is so different about us than everyone else? That was very nice Ooh. of him. Yeah, that's a good question. I yeah, like that. Raise like his that. hand. Yeah, he's like, uh, question, doctor. I know you're teaching the class right now. But, uh, <laughs> question uh, about the grandiose. Yeah. You know, it is, does does it? I mean, everyone thinks they're special. Come on, Dot. Isn't everyone delusional? Ain't nobody special. I mean, not everybody has their own merch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to be willing to test that reality and see if it's true. But there's no fuzziness about whether you're a cyborg or whether you're not. That is definable. The doctor's like, Psh. <laughs> listen, bro, we can go x ray your legs right now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we can go look for an implant in your brain right now. Uh. They turn the comments back on these things? Oh, they did. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Plot twist. Dr. Phil is actually a cyborg. Sent to disrupt Orange Mission. No! Oh! <laughs> I wonder what he does when the internet verification asks, Are you a robot? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple, maybe we've missed, I don't know if we missed a video or something, there's a couple of people in here talking about how like, he's faking it for clout, he doesn't want a normal job, he's trying to kickstart his rap career, but then you scroll down and like someone else, like he wanted to pursue music, mom wanted to prove. He's a rapper. Well, is that what all the cameras and the, the vocal stuff's for? Real Orin here, we found his, uh, got a, <laughs> he's trying to make music, that's why he has merch, that's why he has all these Photoshop pictures. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he has the camera. It's not yeah. got. I mean, he is on YouTube, so he went wrong yeah. about that. Okay, okay. Oh my God! Wait, wait. Oh, let's go check out that Instagram. Man, he's bigger than me on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he's following four twenty people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot. He even put up a new song four days ago. Oh, what, oh. what wonderful timing! Wow. Nice. What do you think about that music? Hope Skynet gets in there and deletes it. <laughs> <laughs> Edit all of his uh, curse words, Skynet. Oh no, not the cursing. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, tell us what you think down in the comments. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Does not compute.